Hello everyone. Today you are going to learn about transamination. This topic is important for short answer question, viva and MCQs. In the video on overview of amino acid metabolism, I have explained the metabolism of amino acid is divided into two important steps. First, metabolism of amino group and second, metabolism of remaining carbon skeleton. In the metabolism of amino group, the first step is removal of nitrogen that is removal of amino group. So the amino acid first undergo transamination and which is followed by deamination. So transamination there is just transfer of amino group from one amino acid to keto acid to form other amino acid and keto acid. So there is just transfer, there is not removal and this transamination is further followed by deamination. And as a result of this deamination, glutamate is converted into alpha ketoglutarate and there is generation of ammonia in the form of ammonium ion. Now this ammonia is further combines with glutamate to form glutamine. And this is the form in which ammonia is transported in the blood. And later on, eventually, eventually this glutamine is converted to glutamate and ammonium is co converted into urea through urea cycle in the liver and finally it is excreted through urine. And this is the reason why urea is considered to be the end product of amino acid metabolism. And this transamination and deamination, they are together considered as transdeamination. And the central molecule which plays a very important role in both transamination and deamination is glutamate. So transamination is transfer of amino group from amino acid to keto acid. This is amino acid and this is keto acid, alpha ketoglutarate. Amino acid is a donor of amino group and this keto acid is acceptor. So amino group from this donor amino acid is donated to this acceptor amino acid alpha ketoglutarate to form other amino acid and keto acid. So there is formation of glutamate and other keto acid. Which means that there is interconversion of a pair of amino acid and a pair of keto acid. This overall process is catalyzed by group of enzymes called as transaminases or amino transferases and the coenzyme which plays a very important role here is pyridoxal phosphate it is a derivative of vitamin b6 there are two important transamination reactions which are catalyzed by alanine transaminase and aspartate transaminases which are major contributors of transamination reaction so in the first transamination reaction Amino group from L-alanine is accepted by alpha ketoglutarate to form glutamate and pyruvate. And this reaction is catalyzed by alanine transaminase that is ALT which was previously called as SGPT that is serum glutamate pyruvate transaminase. This reaction can also be written as alanine plus alpha ketoglutarate leads to formation of pyruvate and glutamate. The AST has clinical significance because this is the enzyme which is used in the diagnosis of liver disease. Second transamination reaction involves the enzyme aspartate transaminase that is called as AST. And this reaction involves transfer of amino group from L-aspartate to alpha ketoglutarate to form glutamate and oxaloacetate. This reaction involves coenzyme pyridoxal phosphate as all transamination reaction requires this coenzyme. This AST is also called as SGOT that is serum glutamate oxaloacetate transaminase because there is formation of glutamate and oxaloacetate. This reaction can also be written as L-aspartate plus alpha ketoglutarate leads to formation of oxaloacetate plus glutamate. This AST has clinical significance because it is used in the diagnosis of heart disease that is myocardial infarction. The levels of AST 
uh, is elevated in condition of myocardial infarction. Transamination occurs by ping pong mechanism. In this ping pong mechanism, first substrate binds to the active site of enzyme and there is formation of product. That product must leave the active site before the second substrate can bind. So let's understand how this ping pong mechanism occurs. Pyridoxal phosphate is a carrier of amino group in the transamination reaction. So we are taking example of alanine transaminase. This is the structure of pyridoxal phosphate. It has aldehyde group and this aldehyde group of pyridoxal phosphate, it is covalently bound to this enzymes active site through an aldehyde linkage to the epsilon amino group of lysine residue. Okay, so this is the enzyme bound pyridoxal phosphate and this pyridoxal phosphate, it acts as a carrier of amino group by changing from pyridoxal phosphate to pyridoxamine phosphate. Next, the alanine is a substrate here. When this substrate comes and reacts with the active site of enzyme, this amino acid alanine is it displaces lysine and new sheep based linkage is formed. Then later this amino group is now carried by this pyridoxal phosphate it, to form pyridoxamine phosphate. So this enzyme pyridoxamine phosphate and as the amino group is removed from here means transferred from this alanine so there is this is amino acid so there will be formation of keto acid that is pyruvate and next there is release of pyruvate to form enzyme bound pyridoxamine phosphate this is the structure of pyridoxamine phosphate so now the amino group from alanine is carried by this pyridoxal phosphate and it becomes pyridoxamine phosphate and in this process alanine is converted into pyruvate and it is now released from this reaction so there is formation of pyruvate next there is binding of alpha ketoglutarate alpha ketoglutarate is a keto acid here so this alpha ketoglutarate binds to the active site of the enzyme and then this amino group which is here with the pyridoxamine phosphate it is then transferred to this alpha ketoglutarate to form glutamate and now this pyridoxamine is converted into pyridoxal phosphate. So then after formation of glutamate there is release of glutamate and finally there is means enzyme bound pyridoxal phosphate is remaining and again then it is ready to accept other amino acid once again that is alanine. So here you can see that first there is incorporation of first substrate that is amino acid alanine. There is formation of keto acid pyruvate and after the release of pyruvate from this enzyme coenzyme complex then only second substrate second amino acid can bind to this enzyme bound pyridoxal phosphate and then there is formation of glutamate from ketoglutarate and later on glutamate is released so finally there is enzyme bound pyridoxal phosphate is remained here so we can uh, see that in this transamination reaction this pyridoxal phosphate acts as a carrier of amino group which carries amino group from alanine and it donates that amino group to alpha, uh, to alpha ketoglutarate to finally form glutamate and meanwhile this pyruvate is also formed so there is uh, means uh, alanine combines with this alpha ketoglutarate to form pyruvate and glutamate so this is the ping pong mechanism of transamination reaction what are the salient features and metabolic significance of uh, transamination this transamination reaction is discovered by bronstein and brisman in 1974 this is reversible reaction and as the transamination reaction is essentially reversible, it takes part in both amino acid synthesis as well as degradation. Principally, the site of transaminations are liver, kidney, heart and brain. Pyridoxal phosphate, which is derived from vitamin B6, is the coenzyme, which is a carrier of amino group. Then there is intermolecular transfer of amino group. There is no formation of ammonia there is just transfer of amino group and amino group are eventually concentrated in the glutamate 
the amino group of most of the amino acid undergoing trans transamination they eventually concentrated in the glutamate because glutamate is the only amino acid that liberates free ammonium ion through oxidative deamination and later on that ammonium ion is used for urea synthesis in the liver then the metabolic significance is production of non essential amino acids which are required for protein synthesis and this transamination is involved in the uh, synthesis of non essential amino acid and uh, by re redistribution of the amino groups among amino and keto acids so this is very important for protein biosynthesis the other features are uh, group tra transaminases they use any of the alpha ketoglutarate oxaloacetate or uh, pyruvate and there are specific transaminases for example alt and ast alt is also called as sgpt and ast is also called as sgot and this both alt and ast they are they have diagnostic importance as alt is raised in the liver diseases and ast is raised in the Uh, when there is damage to the heart that is in the myocardial infarction which are those amino acids which do not participate in transamination those are lysine threonine proline and hydroxyproline transamination is not restricted to alpha amino group because delta amino group of ornithine forms glutamate gamma semialdehyde so far i have explained what is transamination means what is the definition of transamination what are various transamination reactions mechanism of transamination then various salient features and metabolic significance as well as clinical significance of transaminases like ast and alt uh, i hope now you can write a short answer question on transamination now let's see some important mcqs on this topic so the first mcq is the coenzyme essential for transamination reaction is first option pyridoxal phosphate nad tetrahydrofolate or thymine pyrophosphate so we know that pyridoxal phosphate is used as a coenzyme in transamination reaction so answer is pyridoxal phosphate the next question is which of the following reactions exhibits ping pong mechanism i have explained what is ping pong mechanism in this mechanism first substrate binds to the active site of enzyme there is formation of product that product first leaves then only second substrate can bind that is ping pong mechanism the options are transamination oxidative deamination non oxidative deamination and desulfuration so the answer is transamination question number 3 is which of the following reactions play a significant role in synthesizing non essential amino acid option 1 oxidative deamination option b urea synthesis option c desulfuration reaction and op option d is transamination reaction so we have studied that one of the metabolic significance of transamination reaction is synthesis of non essential amino acids so answer is transamination the fourth question is the amino acids that do not undergo transamination are option a serine and methionine option b lysine and threonine option c arginine and histidine option d alanine and aspartate we know that there are certain amino acids that do not undergo transamination like lysine threonine proline and hydroxyproline so here lysine and threonine is the answer b is the answer the levels of the following enzyme is elevated in myocardial infarction the first option is glutamate dehydrogenase second option is aspartate transaminase third option is serine hydratase and fourth option is l amino oxidase we know that in the myocardial infarction the level of aspartate transaminase is increased and that's why the answer is b that is ast aspartate transaminase which is also called as sgot that is serum glutamate oxaloacetate transaminase the amino groups of amino acids taking part in transamination finally deposited in the following amino acid so which amino acid is finally formed in the transamination reaction is it aspartate glutamate 
tryptophan or methionine so it is a glutamate because this glutamate can then undergo oxidative deamination and there is formation of ammonia so that's why all the amino groups of amino acids they are finally concentrated in this amino acid that is glutamate the amino acid that plays a central role in both transamination and deamination is is it alanine aspartate glutamate or tyrosine so we know that in transamination there is just transfer of amino group and that amino group is then removed by the process of deamination so there is formation of first glutamate and from that glutamate there is removal of amino group to form alpha ketoglutarate and that's why the the central molecule of both the processes of transamination and deamination is glutamate answer is c glutamate if you find this video useful please subscribe like and share and thank you for watching